G'day all. So I was out and about not too long ago where I decided to check out this American Muscle Car Show where I was told there'd be a number of great classic cars and a number of movie and TV cars there. So I thought why not go and make a day of it and yeah, film and see what happens. Hope you enjoy. Cheers. So here we are at the Sun American Car Show today. Uh, it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon and we're here at Stone Market and just decided to do something different today for the channel and uh, just have a look at some classic American muscle cars and see what we can find. Let's have a look. So, looks like a lively event, so we'll see how the day goes, see what it goes from here. So initially my plan was to come see what kind of TV and movie cars would be available at the show, as I was told several were, but I was just so overwhelmed to see that this enthusiasm here in the UK for American muscle, all the way ranging from, you know, you got your Corvette Stingrays, you got your Ford Mustangs, and you had several Dodge Challengers ranging from 1972 to 1974 and just a number of 1950s classic V8s, you know, like Cadillacs and Chevys. But coming to this show, again, initially coming to check out some movie cars, I was not disappointed at all, as I came across several replicas highly detailed and accurate to the movie counterparts. What better way to start off this car show than with a movie classic like the 1977 Trans Am, as seen in the movie Smoke and the Bandit. Now, this here is a 6.6 .6 litre 400 cubic inch with about, back in 1977, they didn't have much in terms of horsepower, so this one had about 180 horsepower. But on the film, in, in the film with Burt Reynolds and Sally Fields behind the wheel and in the car, you could really get a feel for it. You could really see it on the road, you can really see it going. And this car, even to this day, just to be with it, it's just one of those great little things you just can't deny. Always love this car. So far, I'm very pleased with the selection of uh, cars they got here today. Uh, it's not often you see this much American muscle in one place in the UK, especially of these eras. So here we got made famous in the TV series in the 70s, Starsky and Hutch, the Code name Zebra 3, 1976 Ford Gran Torino. Now this one in the TV show came with the factory 351 Windsor engine. Uh, they came out roughly about 152 horsepower back then in that time period in the States. Uh, this one here has been uh, modified. Again, this is just one of those cars made famous by TV and it still holds up to this day. It's just one of those lovely things to check out. So here we've got the 1983 GMC Vendura driven in the 1980s classic TV show, The 18. 
by Mr. T himself, B.A. Barakas. Uh, this one here it's, was a 350 with uh, about uh, 190 horsepower, if I'm not mistaken. Now, this was your basic GMC Vendura, and the TV show just added a nice little paint scheme to it, and people just fell in love with it. It's just one of those amazing cars. So here we've got the 1984 Chevrolet Corvette C4, as seen in the TV series A-Team again, driven by Faceman. Uh, this one here comes with a 350 with about 205 horsepower. Again, this came later on towards uh, later seasons, so it's probably about season two, season three, this car was more or less introduced to the series. And again, it became another fan favorite along with the GMC Vendura. So here's an iconic movie car that I was surprised to come across in the 1974 Dodge Monaco as seen in the 1980 comedy hit The Blues Brothers starring John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd where this car ran amok throughout that whole movie with its 440 big block V8 engine with 375 horsepower. Someone went and took the time to make this car here in the UK and I was just surprised to see it and it was just a treat to see this movie icon up close and personal. So as the day came to its conclusion I was just disappointed that I didn't get there a little bit sooner because I was just overwhelmed at how many cars were available here because being the UK I wasn't sure what I was going to expect and being my first time visiting this show I was just impressed at the amount of cars especially the 50s and 60s muscle cars that were available and I had a great day out I must say. So I just want to give a special shout out to David and Stoddenbarts Park who gave me free reign to film these cars up close and personal and if you ever had the opportunity check out some of their upcoming events as they have several car events throughout the year which I'm pretty sure I'll be checking out myself later on as they come up. So I've had a fun little day out today. Uh, not bad, I wish I had more time to do more filming because I must say there were just a lot of cars here today just I would have loved to have been here all day literally just photographing them just filming them getting to know more about them but yeah like I said this for me was a little bit uh, special of a situation so I decided to go out decided to just have a look around and just to see some of these cars and just like for you guys in the States it's probably a bit more common practice but for here in the UK it's certainly not as common to see and it's quite a treat I will say that so I hope you guys enjoyed and yeah I'll see you in the next video cheers bye